Are One Piece Treasure Cruise Anniversaries a joke? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video we are going to try and answer the opening question and based on your opinion and experiences so far, you can also answer by participating in the poll I have in the pinned comment. And of course by leaving a comment with your opinions. Now have in mind, I haven't actually participated in this anniversary at all other than claiming the login bonus and my free multis. I am not going to be influenced by bad pulls or anything like that, I will try to be as objective as possible and the reason I haven't done anything pretty much in the game in the past weeks is simply because I was sick. And it's not like it's hard to pull if you're sick in One Piece Treasure Cruise, I was just not feeling well, I knew I was not going to make content, so I just wanted to take a break from the game completely. And do I feel like I missed out on anything? Honestly, no. Let's try to evaluate the anniversary starting from the beginning. So obviously, we have the Worldwide Anniversary Part 1 ASL Brothers Sugofest. Such a catchy small title. What's so special about this Sugofest? What makes it anniversary like? Other than the debuting legends, of course, we have 12.5% chance for Sugofest exclusive to appear. They couldn't even make that 15% to make it actually feel like an anniversary Sugofest. So that 2.5% of an extra chance for a legend would have probably ruined the game's economy. Is this a Super Sugofest? No, it's not, which means Super Sugofest characters, some of the strongest in the game, are not available. But Smart Guy Bandai has actually created a new type of legend since last year's anniversary that is also limited also exclusive to something, Anniversary Sugofests, and also does not coexist with Super Sugofest Legends, except for that one Sugofest a year, the actual Anniversary Sugofest that arrives in May. In that Sugofest probably everything will be available, Anniversary Legends and Super Sugofest Legends as well. Essentially this Sugofest right here with Ace and Luffy is a worse version of the actual Anniversary Sugofest less chance for a legend and also worse steps in general. Other than the Sugufest though, what else is available? We see a Rally Bazaar notice, a Metal Exchange notice, which finally enough introduced a Super Tandem character, it is Super Tandem Law and he costs 600 medals, which is insane. If he was a Super Sugufest, I would definitely agree of the price point being increased from 400 medals maximum to 600 medals, but for a simple super tandem character, you have to be joking, he definitely shouldn't be 600 medals. It's not like Bandai is giving us enough super tandem tablets to increase all of these super tandem limit break abilities anyway. Lo, even though he's a great legend, shouldn't be over the normal highest price range. Maybe it's an anniversary present, I don't know, but let's proceed. The first event we see here is the Little Brother vs Big Brothers Pirate Alliance Challenge, which essentially is called a Blitz Battle. Now a Blitz Battle is a glorified point event, it only lasts for 2-3 to three days and only appears in these crazy and very unique celebration and anniversary periods. Other than the higher chances we have to pull legends in the Sugo and also the exclusive legends appearing in said Sugo Fest, the Blitz Battle is the only thing that is actually different from the normal event cycle we have. It is point event treasure map Kizuna, but in quote unquote celebration periods we have the extra Blitz Battle, which now is called the Pirate Alliance Blitz Battle because they think it will make it special or something. But let's be honest here. It's not just the fact that this is a point event in disguise. Yes, we have the ranking, but have in mind, the ranking means that not only is this a point event that lasts for two days, it also requires you way more than the normal point event does to pull for the new characters and legends if you want to actually do good in the rankings. The normal Chopperman mission rewards, especially for an anniversary period, for this Blitz Battle specifically, were a joke, in my opinion. I quickly went through them when the Blitz Battle was active. We were getting some gems, a legend ticket, some limit break materials, keys, some proof of friendship, 
and no free to play character at all in this blitz battle so essentially stuff that do not even make me want to play the blitz battle i don't care at all i did not participate i could not be bothered to build the team for what to get a legend ticket that will give me a dupe legend i already have anyway i don't care i don't even care about the gems for the amount of runs you want me to do without the new legends why would i care about playing this blitz battle the entirety of two days to get some trash rewards it doesn't make sense and yes you should reward the players that got the new legends but you shouldn't be always punishing everyone else that was unlucky in the Sugufest. now we also had a normal point event i think i skipped through it there it is, it's the can I have a piece point event, this is a normal point event, not really much to say here, but I don't think the rewards were changed from the normal point event rewards to be more anniversary like for this specific point event either. To continue, after the blitz battle we see the world cruise 2023 hashtag campaign. I am so hyped for this, aren't you guys also excited to advertise the game and gain I'm not joking here, we are going to earn this. A large training drink. Come on, dude, if you're not hyped for this, I don't know what you're gonna be hyped for. We are also getting one whole Kizuna potion. I know, I know, don't get too excited now. We're also getting a mystery reward. <laughs> a mystery reward, what might this be? If we are lucky, it might be one limit break orb of a specific color we choose in a poll that's gonna be crazy but let's just hope i'm sorry okay but i cannot take this seriously world cruise sail alone dude am i supposed to advertise the game to gain worse rewards than i gain from a random straw hats birthday celebration what's the point of this what's the point of having a mystery reward if you want a lot of people to retweet this just tell me that the last step is 30 gems or something one large training drink we can't even limit break story luffy with that and i know i'm essentially getting annoyed with a minimal thing and some people also might think or say we're getting free stuff why is that a bad thing no it's not free stuff we are advertising the game for them but now that we feel blessed with our one large training drink we can continue, we have the limit break expansion, happens every month, worldwide anniversary treasure map rainbow gem sale aka overpriced gems, worldwide anniversary treasure map versus Fujitora, and this is golden, like you can't make this up, okay? Do you remember the community letter where the OBTC team told us that they don't like making arena because they feel like it is very grindy, so the players don't like grinding? Okay, you do remember, nice. Do you know what the difference between this treasure map is and a normal treasure map? But this is an anniversary one, do you know what the difference is? More grind! Look at this, you can't make this up. So, we go here, it says more treasure rewards. For new world league and grand line league players, new treasure rewards have been added past 11 million points. So, you make this feel like an anniversary treasure map, not by making the normal rewards better or maybe the map rewards better you just add more rewards after the original maximum reward threshold hopefully at least we get more rewards from the map a redesigned map to get more rewards and coins and also maybe the bonus map is appearing more often than it does normally or we are just going to get the anniversary soundtrack and confetti when we enter the map and finally we have the worldwide anniversary asl brothers sugufest part 2 with sabo debuting and also koala and hack these are the treasure map units by the way sabo koala and hack and normally in a treasure map sugufest we are getting a recommended character guaranteed in multi number three that can of course help us to proceed through the treasure map faster what's the funny thing here so, because this is a worldwide anniversary Sugo, right? And because Sabo is a limited character, a limited anniversary legend, we don't have that step. And by the way, I am not expecting to have that step with Sabo included. But at least, at the very least, right? Because this replaces the treasure map Sugo Fest. And not only that, Ace and Luffy are not available here, 
and other anniversary specific legends are only available in part 1. The steps are also very bad and we do not have the ability to get at least a guaranteed koala or hack in step 3 or step 5 or something. No, we don't even have that. So because this Sugofest is garbage and a lot of people want pool, you cannot have an easier time in the treasure map as well. Happy anniversary! Can we now answer the opening question? I think we can. In my opinion, this anniversary is a complete joke. Is the only reason this is called an anniversary to just make anniversary exclusive legends? Give us something, maybe a raid with a unique anniversary free to play character that has to do with Ace, Sabo and Luffy, maybe a Dadan, maybe both with one being the raid unit and the other one being a free to play support unit we gain from Chopperman missions if we use Ace, Sabo and Luffy, maybe with different combinations with other characters in our teams. Don't have a boosted list for that raid, let us have some fun with team building. Give us a quest for a new ship to use all of that cola from the cola campaign. If you don't want to make a new ship, give an upgrade to one of the ace ships we have in the game, the piece of Spadile or the striker, to make them better or at least give them an anniversary period effect or something for max specials maybe, more XP, more belly. But then again, what are we going to do with maximum specials if we don't have any quests to use the ship on? The new characters are cool I guess, the artworks are very cool, the sprites are nice, but everything else has minimal effort in it. And it's not like I'm asking for a new type of event right now in this anniversary, or I'm asking for stuff that we haven't seen before, everything that I listed has actually happened before in the game. Every celebration and anniversary period feels like the normal monthly cycle, but with limited legends and the blitz battle slapped into it. This is not supposed to be a character collection game, it is supposed to be a team building game. Do something to make anniversaries actually feel anniversary-like. 